I've been thinking about this weekend, how it's a weekend of celebration for a lot of people in the Northern Hemisphere, Thanksgiving and times like that, and also for Christmas coming up. And I'm thinking about maybe there's times for readings that are good and times for readings that are not so good. And I just want to give you a couple of hints about that, uh, especially if you're feeling like uh, you've had too much family, too much wine, too much food, too much everything, and maybe it's midnight and, and you've had 10 glasses of wine and thinking, oh, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a reading, that'll be the thing that I want to do. You know, maybe not such a good idea. Uh, if you're feeling vulnerable, if you're feeling lonely, isolated, uh, you've had a little bit to drink, not a great time to get a reading usually and also if it's midnight right who are you gonna get you're gonna get the people on those um, psychic hotlines right their number one job they might be fabulous readers but their number one job is to keep you on the line to keep you spending money at five or six or ten dollars a minute right you're not really gonna get the best reading a from that particular place and also your particular energy is not going to be that great at midnight after five glasses of wine and a tummy full of God knows what that you've been eating all day so as much as you might feel all those things it's not the great time to have a reading so pick a time when you're relaxed you're calm you're comfortable you're not attached to the outcome you're not desperately wanting to have an answer uh, and then your energies will be a whole lot clearer and a whole lot easier to read for people like me because I won't be feeling that white sort of noise band around you of desperation and sadness and isolation or, or the, the problem that you're really fixed on and it'll be a whole lot more accurate reading and you won't be wasting your money and you won't be feeling like oh my god that really wasn't that great because a reading should be lovely it should be fun it should touch your soul it should feel it should be an experience, not just something that you do, but you should feel like, gee, something happened. I feel like, yeah, I really did connect. And that's the best way to get a reading. So wherever you are, I hope you're having a gorgeous weekend and a gorgeous day. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.